Well, scientists at UC San Diego think the Omicron variant may very well already be in San Diego County. And they may confirm the hypothesis as soon as this week through testing happening on positive COVID tests. Dr. Davey Smith is the head of infectious diseases at UC San Diego, joining us now here this afternoon. First of all, Dr. Smith, thank you for joining us here on the floor. I've got to be honest, having a hard time hearing you. I'm just going to see if, there we go. Let's try that again. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Uh, glad you're here. Let's just jump right into this. How long will it take to determine if Omicron is vaccine resistant? It'll probably take another week or two to look at it in the lab. Maybe not even that long. But we really won't know whether or not it's resistant or not until we see if there's more hospitalizations and people dying who actually have been vaccinated who then get infected. And that takes more time. Now, Dr. Smith, we're talking about genetic analysis. This is the work that you guys are doing on these positive COVID tests to determine if Omicron is around, specifically here in San Diego. What goes into that? Yeah, so we, we, we've been doing it since the very beginning of the epidemic is that when people have positive tests, we isolate the virus and then we sequence it in the lab and look for mutations. And it, this particular variant has very classic mutations associated with Omicron, as we're now calling it, and we're, that's what we're looking for. Let's talk not just about vaccines, doctor, here for a moment, but also about treatments. At the same time that uh, vaccines are being updated for various variants, are the treatments also being updated and improved? For instance, if somebody should get COVID, do they have a better chance of survival now than they did at the beginning of all of this? Yeah, well, last year, this time, it was a really tough time. We didn't have vaccines and we didn't have therapies, and now we have both. So if somebody comes down with COVID right now, they should go get a monoclonal antibody infusion. Those work very well for uh, COVID-19, and hopefully there are other drugs coming out from pills, both from Merck and from Pfizer, and I hope those work as well. With all of these treatments, you just said it right there, updating as we go along. Is the vaccine still the number one prevention tool, as we've been hearing for months? It is the best way for us to get out of this pandemic and to stay safe. So I definitely encourage everyone to go get their COVID-19 vaccine. Yeah. We don't know whether or not this variant will evade some of those vaccine responses, and it probably will. But I also think that the vaccine still offers some level of protection that we should all uh, therefore, we should all get our vaccine. Well, and let me ask you about that for a moment, because, of course, we just don't know enough about Omicron to make any solid determinations at this point. But if people are ready for their booster in the next couple of weeks, should they go and get it and then get another booster? Let's say the vaccine is updated to include the Omicron variant. How often could this go on for? Are we looking at every few months when the variant changes again that people need another shot? So... First of all, to your question, if somebody's ready for the booster, absolutely, they need the booster. It's going to take a little while for them to get a uh, special Omicron uh, booster uh, for a vaccine if we ever do get one. Um, so don't let that hesitate to get your current booster. Then immunity wanes, and it wanes all the time, and we're probably going to need boosters over time, whether or not that means a specific variant booster or back to the other old booster, uh, only time will tell, and that's just going to require more research. All right, Dr. Davey Smith with the quote of the day, only time will tell as we get so much more information on Omicron here. Thank you for joining us on The Forward. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, infectious disease specialist at UC San Diego, Dr. Smith, thank you. Thank you, though, for joining us.